Uh, hello everyone this video will be about advanced root tutorial and a thing that I've been thinking for like about two three years and um, this is like um, branching out in six base the main idea is to combine three style and true so uh, right now currently I sometimes do three style uh, in um, a cited three by three speed all and sometimes I do roo but um, the aim is to um, combine both of these uh, to take the best out of the both and to get a roo method which is having lesser move count so the first approach is something which I have already done on balance day uh, roo method walkthrough solves is to one look the LSE uh, and uh, when they, when you can force one salt piece you can do one one five cycle algorithm um, taking DF or UF from the uh, as as the buffer and uh, you can do one algorithm and this is again like the ZPLL thing uh, so it's like there might be some times where you can just EO and get an arrow and do um, uh, this normal LSE but uh, it's just like doing the CUN uh, instead of doing the CUN ZBLL uh, but um, sometimes when you get the L case in ZBLL or s analogously in here you get a case where there is a 4 mover of 5 cycle so uh, like this so then you try and do um, uh, then you try and do all the edges at once uh, so uh, yeah that's the first method and the second one is to trace out the first block and solve all the remaining pieces by commutators and the second and the third are somewhat similar the only difference is in the second part you can uh, do the corners at the end or you can do a PLL at the top so there is a like if there is parity in the algorithm you can just do a U move on the top and uh, do, a, um, do a PLL at the end like a J pump uh, but the third method is to do uh, the first block and then solve all the six corners and then do an edges only solve so there will be uh, uh, after the first block there will be only nine edges left um, and uh, the, the the way you can do it is by doing uh, three style commutators and so on. Uh, so yeah, the, this is one method. And an improvement on the uh, uh, third method is the fifth method, which is to solve all corners at once while avoiding flipped edges. So flipped edges they kind of take one more alk, and it's always good to avoid them, like um, because they kind of ca can cause pause when you are trying to do it um, in sighted solves. Uh, so yeah, flip edges and uh, to use a lot of floating buffers, UF, UR, UB. So UB, UB is mostly like the mirror of UF except for like 20-30% um, of the comps. UR is also like super intuitive after you learn U UF and um, f this can be a very good way of uh, not do waterman but still do a corners first method. So the fourth method is something which I had seen Eric Fatah do around three, two years back which is the LMCF method which is least uh, move uh, corners first method and it is to do kind of LSE and then one or two edges from the second block uh, at once uh, so you can, you only get a EO case at the end so so um, after the LSE and um, the you solve the uh, UL and UR you, uh, and CMLL you just get only this four four piece uh, EO. So this is like LMCF method and it, it is yet to be explored by many people. So that's one way of combining row and three style. And the sixth one is something that um, uh, Carter discussed and it is about uh, doing four pairs and four pairs meaning not solving the DL and DR and the centers uh, of that uh, first block and second block. And then to do an S move insert um, before the CMLL or after the CMLL and then follow it up with uh, CMLL and LSE. So this can always lead to very lesser and uh, faster solves because um, wh when you're doing a first blocks and second block, uh, you can always get very bad cases. And if you're just doing pairs, then uh, pairs can always be made in about two or three moves. So uh, yeah, the, there is all the six kind of ways in which I'm splitting this up and each one of this can be developed up um, very well and um, like made made as a uh, like a potential um, advanced version of roof to prepare up for this is to do a lot of three style sighted solves in three by three rounds and kind of dabble into method neutrality because otherwise you can't keep all the six approaches and be neutral so like there's a option uh, like always um, uh, a kind of a term ca called option select option select is when in cfop you try and either do OLLCP or you just do something else like through roof to uh, GBLL or something so there is always an option but um, uh, when you are trying to uh, like 
get good in one or two of the techniques it's always good that you know for which scrambles what work so that's why you have to uh, like kind of dabble into method neutrality this all these six might involve making some subsets so um this was proposed by eric fatah this was proposed by carter this is proposed by kind of me uh, it is like non waterman and then doing all the c pop uh, the the normal three style thing and then this is kind of weird and four and five is a improvement over three kind of thing and this is also very good uh, this will just eliminate five pieces and then you can do three style and this is what i think so i'll be mostly investing my time into is to develop a uh, one look lse so that will make really a uh, big improvement in the room method so let me know about your thoughts about this uh, method i'll be sharing the document and the algs that i'll be making